Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here. I hope you all are doing well. And with this weekend being CES weekend, you can pretty much expect that the next couple of days videos are probably going to be about things that I found interesting or things I'm excited for that were announced at CES. And although I haven't really gotten a chance to look at most of the unveiling so far, there was one that did catch my eye that I figured I would share with you guys because I think that it's pretty crazy and most of you guys can agree that this is pretty crazy. Well, um, most of you know that drones have become a very common and popular thing from building your own with uh, 3D printed parts to, I mean, going out and buying and completely customizing these crazy drones that have first person uh, field of view and all sorts of things like that. Well, <clears throat> from what I'm seeing here, there's no lack of drones at CES 2016. However, there was one thing that stood out to me that I have never seen before, and I'm pretty sure that no one else has really seen before. But apparently a Chinese company called Ehang has announced that they are um, or they have a drone that can basically fly a human being and uh, it's called the 184 and it basically says that uh, it's an all-electric quadricopter scaled up from a drone so that it's large enough to carry a passenger. It's called an autonomous aerial vehicle and um, yes it's a thing so I've got uh, I've got some pictures of it that I'll post up for you guys and it looks like basically um, it looks like basically it's not going to be launching in the U.S., uh, especially it says right here that um, it has not been tested or approved by the FAA, so unfortunately um, a live demo at CES isn't going to happen. Um, but it says, they say that they have completed successful flights in China, but the video the company provided never showed the aircraft in flight with the human inside. The photos it supplied were mostly renders or images of the craft that lacked any other objects for scale. So, um... I'm not seeing it right now, but I did see earlier on another on another article basically that I think <clears throat> it can fly roughly 10 miles in distance in one charge and um, oh, what else did it say? 10 miles in distance in one charge and it goes, I want to say it was 55 to 65 miles per hour is the top speed. So obviously if you're commuting you know, somewhere super far, that's not going to work, but I mean uh, it, let's say like you have to go somewhere in the morning, you know, and it's prime traffic hour and it's literally just four or five exits away or, you know, even a little bit more than that, I guess. But uh, the ability to fly over it and I did read on it a little bit and it did say there's safety features at bay where basically like if it's running out of charge, it's not going to just drop. Um, although, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I've done a lot of flying in my life, obviously not in drones, but um, although I've done a lot of flying, I still feel pretty uncomfortable when I'm off the ground. And so I don't know that um, flying this drone is something, or flying in this drone is something that I would even feel remotely comfortable doing until it's got a lot of, um, I don't know, just longevity in terms of no crashes and no issues or like that. I wouldn't want to be like one of the first people to hop in one of these, you know, autopiloting drones where you have no control. From what I read too, it just basically you put your destination in like an app or something like that and it takes you there. So... I don't, I don't know, like, if there's any sort of, um, if there's any sort of, like, uh, you know, manual control that you can use to take over, but I really don't think so from what I was reading earlier, so it'll be interesting to see if there's other companies that follow in place or, um, you know, how this takes off, but I, I definitely thought this was something worth sharing because that's just insanity to me, so I'll link you guys to an article or two, and, um, like I said, there's no, there's no videos, it doesn't look like, there's just photos, so... That kind of sucks, because I really want to see a person flying in this damn thing, but uh, it definitely looks crazy. It looks gnarly, like a, basically like a helicopter front, but without the tail, obviously, and it just has four, like it's a quadricopter. It's just, I don't know, crazy, and it says Ehang 184. So anyways, on that note, I will end the video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you'd actually try if it came to the U.S., or whether you'd, like me, kind of wait for it to make sure that it's gone through all sorts of, um, I don't know, just time frame of no accidents happening all right guys dope swinner and i am out peace hey guys don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video and if you're not subscribed subscribe for new great videos every single week including monthly giveaways thank you so much for checking out this video and i'll see you guys next time